I wanted to uh, take a look at the uh, FPV monitor. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. <laughs> it's very gorgeous. <laughs> Let, let's take her out a little bit, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, DJ Soul Force. I'm actually excited about reviewing this one, guys. This is the Snaptane SP700. And uh, what makes me so confident and excited about reviewing this one is uh, the SP700. If it looks familiar, yes, it does, uh, guys. This is basically a rebranded uh, MGX Bugs 2. SE, so it has all of the intelligent features of the Bugs 2 SE. Uh, it has a high def camera, the same specs as the Bugs 2 SE, brushless motors, and here you can take a quick look at the transmitter. It looks exactly the same as the Bugs 2 SE. So, guys, this review for me should be quick, dirty, and easy. Let's go ahead and unlock those motors. Press the auto takeoff button. If there are any differences, guys, uh, between this one and the Bugs 2 SE, I, I will put those specs up on the screen. Uh, as far as what I've read and the reviews I've watched on this bird already, pretty much comparable or compatible to the Bugs 2 SE. Let's make sure we got our GPS on. The transmitter looks just like a Bugs 2 transmitter except uh, Snaptang has taken an extra step to label the uh, <laughs> GPS button to let you know if it's on or if it's off. She's in the GPS mode right now. She drifted a few feet. It is a little bit breezy out here today, guys. I pushed it forward manually. Let's go ahead and let off off the sticks and stop it right above our, our pad here. She's doing pretty good. Uh, what I'm liking about this bird already is... Uh, that it is compatible to the Bugs 2 and the Bugs 3 series so the, the propellers can be uh, e easily swapped out not too far let's lock in a position here guys and take her up and going by the uh, on-screen display Today being uh, sort of a windy day, guys, uh, this is not a fair review, but actually this this is the first Snaptane drone. Where is she? Wow, there they are. I wanted to catch that flock of birds out there. Unfortunately, guys, uh, this one's just like a Bugs 2 SE. You can't adjust the gimbal. You can't point the, the camera down. Uh, there was a flock of birds, and there they are again. Where's my bird? Okay, guys, let's look for our telemetry on the screen. We seem to be 173 meters out, 30 feet. 34 meters high Give her some left stick here It looks like a bugs, but uh, the the snap chain is using a, a different app From the bugs 3 app or the bugs go app as they call it uh, Looks slightly different One of the so-called uh, so claim specs on this drone is this drone is supposed to have a 
500 meters of uh, FPV range. <laughs> this is a little aside for me, guys, to do this on the first flight, but uh, I'm going to take it out there and see how our, our 5G Wi-Fi signal holds up. At 509 meters, it's looking pretty good. It's stopping and freezing occasionally, but I still have a live view. Let me y'all to the left. Push forward. 512 meters. And still looking pretty fucking good. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, this is the first flight. This is brand new right out of the box, guys. 657 meters out and I still have a rock solid FPV signal uh, let's see we should have a control signal Snapchain promised it to be 500 meters uh, I'm at I'm over 600 meters I'm at 667 this yard pan around I'm panning and I lost signal, but I'm at 667 meters, guys. At this point, I'm gonna do a return to home. This, this one's also claiming 18 minutes of flight time. And it may sound short, 18 minutes, but actually <laughs> when you're flying like this, FPV and then you start losing signal and stuff like that uh, 18 minutes can be an eternity. That's that's pretty good 18 minutes flight time She's supposed to be doing an automatic return to home Can you guys hear it? I don't hear it the uh, Transmitter should be beeping But I don't hear anything but here we can see the uh, distance is counting down. However, okay, <laughs> I was about to bash it. <laughs> the app was still frozen. Uh, I do have FEV connection back now. And guys, I apologize. Uh, in my haste to take off and do this flight, the wind had died down and I wanted to catch <laughs> some shots of the birds out there. I forgot to start the onboard video recording. Okay, she's in an uh, automatic return to home now. I'm going to go ahead and start the recording now. Long press. She is back home. She's descending, but appears to be kind of off a little bit. She's gonna come down on this table, but we didn't take off on the table. We took off over there. Let's go ahead and land it. And real quick, guys, uh, I'm gonna start the recording again. Unlock the motors, just like a bug too. <laughs> And then I'm going to do an automatic takeoff. She's drifting. She drifted a little bit again. Looks like a Bugs 2. Got the Bugs 2 transmitter. Uh, I'm not sure if it's as tight and as precise as a Bugs 2, but. I think Snapchain put a, a better camera in this bird. From what I got going on here on my FPV screen, guys. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. At the same time, the, the drone is drifting. Uh, what made MGX... MGX got shitty cameras. <laughs> but they got spot-on GPS. 
Uh, this one seemed to be floating a little bit. Uh, the GPS may not be as tight, but I did get over 397 meters, uh, almost 400 meters with that first flight FPV signal, the 5G Wi-Fi. So let's take it straight back up again, straight up. Push it out a little bit slightly. I'm getting a beep. The transmitter beeping. I'm recording. Uh, okay. I'm in LVC already, so that 20, uh, not 28, uh, 18 minutes flight time. It's not true. I'm trying to reestablish vi visual line of sight with the drone. I don't see it, but we can't be that far. Okay, I see it. She's at the end of the field hovering. I'm in the first stage of a uh, low battery return. While we got visual line of sight on it, let's take it up. I got the birds all worked up, <laughs> the real birds. And let's hit return home again. I'm not sure if you guys can see this little tiny dot in the sky right there. She's on her way back. That was nowhere near 18 minutes of flight time, guys. But this was the first cycle of a brand new battery out of the box. So we won't judge it here and now. <laughs> uh, I will fault myself for not bringing spare batteries. Uh, I, I figured, you know, brand new quad out of the box. I want to review it brand new out of the box. I haven't done any modifications to it yet. Okay, this is a fail-safe return home. Well, actually, it, it went as a low battery warning, but it doesn't return home. It just starts beeping to let you know the low, you're on a low battery. I press return to home, and she's on automatic return to home under low battery. I have two yellow bars here. <laughs> Cutting some grass. Not too far, not too far off though guys. It's off, but uh, not too far off. Uh, I guess right there in the MJX Bugs 2 range, uh, my Bugs 2 will usually put a leg on that landing pad. This one's about three feet off, three and a half feet off guys, but uh, not too bad. What we got to do is come back out and test it again. For flight time, guys, uh, it could be me. Maybe time just slipped by me or something, but that was nowhere near being 18 minutes of flight time. This is a, a 7.4 volt, 17 or 1800. Let's go ahead and take that out. Garment. I forgot to stop that video once again. <laughs> I forgot to stop the video before I took the battery out of the drone. But uh, 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp, and that I believe is the same specs as a Bugs battery. Uh, I don't know what happened. Guys, stay tuned to see more. We're going to do some follow up reviews on this one, guys. This is the Snaptane SP700. It's your boy DJ Soul Force. Pow! I'm out of here.